hi ladies welcome back to my channel if you are new here you are very welcome my name is Nosa and I am so glad that you are here today so in this video we want to talk about foods to improve your cervical mucus last week we talked about other things like lifestyle habits and just other natural ways that you can help to you know uh, improve the quality of your CM so today we're gonna to focus on the foods that you can eat and I feel like this is a much easier topic you know I'm sure you guys already know this but if you don't your cervical mucus simply means the fluid the discharge that comes out from your body during your fertile window during your ovulation so if you wipe or if you check your underwear you will see something coming out when during your ovulation and that simply means you know that is your, your cervical mucus right there so according to studies low quantity and low quality cervical mucus has been found responsible for about three percent of fertility issues infertility experienced by women the good news is there are a lot of foods that you can include in your diet to help with the production and health of your cervical mucus so what are these foods let us dive into it number one the first food on my list to help improve the health of your cervical fluid is fish oil fish oil also known as omega-3 fatty acids so according to studies fish oil has been shown to boost blood circulation in the uterus it has also been shown to help to regulate hormones fish oil can help to promote good balance of your hormones which can also help to boost the production of cm in your body so you want to eat foods like nuts like peanuts walnuts uh, cashew nuts almond nuts brazil nuts pistachios or fish like sardines uh, salmon fish or some seeds like uh, chia seeds flax seeds hemp seeds or uh, even egg or egg yolk these are some very uh, some food that are very rich in omega-3 fatty acids and fish oil and you want to consume a lot of this food to help with the quality the health of your cervical fluid number two you want to eat foods that are high in protein and i'm not just talking about any kind of protein i'm actually focusing on plant-based protein i'm talking about foods like beans or lentils edamame uh, tofu even whole grains nuts and seeds that we just talked about and this food like i said are plant-based proteins they have been shown to improve ovulatory function and also improve the quality of your of your cm you also want to avoid eating animal based protein or animal proteins like meat you know red meat meat beef all types of meat or milk milk that's gotten from animals and according to studies Animal proteins and even carbohydrates have been linked to lower ovulatory fertility in a woman by 50%. So if you are consuming a lot of animal proteins, like I just mentioned, and a lot of carbohydrates, you are increasing ovulatory infertility. You are lowering your chances of ovulating very well. So you want to avoid eating these animal proteins and focus on the healthy type of protein, some plant-based protein, which, which has been shown to improve ovulatory fertility dark leafy greens dark vegetables it is so important to include this in your diet whether you're trying to conceive or not because this can help to improve your health the quality of your health and of course your cervical fluid if you are trying to conceive now i'm talking about vegetables like spinach and broccoli and kale and bok choy so your dark leafy greens your dark vegetables are very rich in fiber and folate and vitamin c and k and potassium zinc iron and all all the other essential minerals that are needed to, pro to provide your body good quality CM and just your overall health and fertility you also need to eat a lot of dark leafy greens to support the sperm it can help the sperm move easily through your cervical mucus into your reproductive tract so it is also great for sperm and not just your egg so yeah this is another food that you should have in your list another set of food that you need to be eating right now are foods that are rich in B vitamins b vitamins and i'm talking about foods like whole grains fish poultry like your chicken eggs legumes nuts seeds bananas citrus like your oranges tangerines even grapes uh, yeah grapes and grapefruits are another one on the list and your dark leafy greens again these are foods that are very rich in b vitamins and b vitamins play an essential role in supporting the production of estrogen in your body you know that you need some estrogen to produce 
some good quality cervical mucus so if you don't have enough estrogen you may not be producing enough or even some good quality ones so you want to eat these foods which are very rich in b vitamins and that would help to produce or to support estrogen in your body vitamin d vitamin d foods are another type of food you want to be eating right now to improve the health of your cervical mucus so vitamin d plays a key role in estrogen production and balancing in your body so you want to eat foods like salmon sardines mushrooms and egg yolk these are some foods that are very high in vitamin d and eating them can help to improve the health of your cervical mucus water you want to drink a lot of water you want to stay hydrated water helps to keep your cervical mucus very healthy and 95 percent of our cervical fluid is water water is the major is the major ingredient that produces cervical fluid in a woman's body water also helps with your hormones it can help to transport hormones around your body and of course it can help to improve the quality of your cm so that sperm can easily go through into your body to meet the egg and hopefully you get pregnant so you want to drink a lot of water stay hydrated and the last one on my list is to avoid coffee avoid taking in caffeine and sugary drinks sugary drinks like soda look caffeine is not just in coffee caffeine is also in drinks like your soda in chocolates okay so you want to avoid sugary foods sugary drinks during this period uh, ice cream this is not the period to be eating all that ice cream these foods are not suitable for your ovulatory function and these have also been shown from researches they have been shown to dehydrate your body they have been shown to swallow up water in your body which can affect the production of cervical mucus in your body you are trying to improve the quantity and quality of your cm you don't need anything that will dry them up so you want to avoid you know caffeine and coffee and chocolate and sugar and all of that and instead focus on drinking water you can put some cucumbers in your water instead of adding sugar okay you can drink water and that would help you know with the health of your cervical mucus so these are seven foods that you can include in your diet to help improve the health of your cervical mucus these are some foods you should be eating and some foods you should not be eating so i hope that you guys found this video helpful if you did then of course give it a thumbs up and drop a comment down below if you have any questions to ask go ahead and ask i am always looking forward to your comments to your questions i will try my best to answer and share this video with any woman around you who is trying to conceive i hope this video helps them as well and subscribe to my channel if you still haven't already it will mean a lot to me i would really appreciate that if you subscribe so yeah guys thank you so much for always being here i'll see you all in my next one bye